Hi third graders, it's Mrs. Compton, and I don't know if you've met this guy before, but his name is Chip, and he came in right when I was hitting record, so I thought I'd go ahead and introduce him to you if I haven't yet already. Um, oh, excuse you. <laughs> he loves to do math, and he's always in here watching me, um, and I have two dogs. The other one's name is Speckles, so I thought you would like to meet him. P.S. He's not wearing his collar because he just had a bath. He usually has his collar on. Very important. All right, so here we've got some happy faces. Um, we've got how many happy faces here? Of course, you already know that number because you could just look at it and go three, right? Okay, and then down here, you're probably wondering what those are. Some people are like, are they trees? Is it candy? What is it? Um, this is my version of one of those gigantic lollipops. Um, you know those lollipops that you can't finish in a day? That's this guy. That's that guy. It's all of those guys. All right, so we are going to think about what you could figure out with this picture. So I want you to hit pause, and I want you to think about all the things that you could figure out just by looking at this. All right, hit pause. We'll be right back. I have guesses. Are you ready? We've got three people. Boom, boom, boom. And then I bet some of you noticed that this was laid out in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if this is seven, then another row of seven would make 14. And this one's the odd man out over here making 15 um, suckers. And also you can see 15 is an odd number. I bet lots of you guys probably realized that. Did anybody think about how many suckers each person would get if we divided them equally? I bet some of you did. So I see a lot of um, this stuff in class when we are working together. Um, we'll go this one for you, and this one for you, and this one for you, and you can draw lines, right? It's basically like a connect the dot situation. Or you can start thinking about groups, right? So we've got 15 suckers, 15 suckers. Um, divided by, I'm going to use this symbol because that's the shared equally sign, 15 suckers divided by three people. So again, we can ask ourselves, will everybody get two suckers or more than two suckers? Let's figure that out. Two, four, six. Okay, everybody's going to get more than two suckers, right? How about, let's go to the next friendly number. I start thinking about five. Would everybody get five suckers? More? Less? Let's find out. Five, ten, fifteen. Well, actually, that gave us our number right there, right? So it's all about kind of estimating. So now I know I'm going to give each person five suckers. Let's see. We'll grab three from down there and two from up here. Right? So this would be person number one, person number two, and person number three. Now, we don't want any crying with candy, right? So everyone has to get the same amount. So make sure everybody has the same amount in each group. All right, I see five in each group. So 15 suckers divided by three people equals five suckers per person. So it's always good to get that visual. All right, we are going to do a story problem next. Grab your whiteboards if you have them. Get your stuff ready. We're going to do a story. Be right back. All right, we've got our story problem. We've got to read it now. So we've got Hector has 12 rocks from a nearby state park. Okay, so imagine that in your head. Um, I'm sure you've all been to a state park. You've probably seen some pretty cool rocks. And he collects 12 of them. Okay, so hold that picture in your mind. He puts an equal number of his rocks in each of his three boxes. How many rocks are in each box? All right, so we know for sure that he collected 12 rocks and he is going to share those rocks equally amongst three boxes. And we have to figure out how many rocks go into each box. Okay, so I'm going to draw three boxes. All 
Okay, so that represents my boxes, right? So one, two, three. All right, now we know that we have to distribute 12 rocks. So again, we can ask ourselves that nice question. Is each box going to get two rocks, more than two rocks, less than two rocks? And then we can go to our next friendly number, five, right? Okay, so let's look. Is each box going to get more than two rocks, less than two rocks, or two rocks exactly? Let's find out. Two, four, six. Okay, so each box is going to get more than two rocks because we are going to divide 12 rocks, 12 rocks divided by three boxes. Okay, so we already said we know it's going to be more than two. Two, four, six. All right, so what does that tell you? We've used up six of the 12. How much is left? We've got another six, you guys. It's kind of like the same thing that happened in another lesson where we had used up exactly half and then we just filled in the other half. So we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So you could do that and you could realize that six divided by three is two and then we had to do that again. Six divided by three is another two. And the answer is four rocks per box. If this part doesn't make sense to you, do you have to worry about that? No. If this picture is making sense to you, we're in good shape. All right, so let's go back here for a second where we don't know how many rocks are in each box. We can also try putting five in, right? So maybe I'll just write the number five instead of drawing by a circles. Five, 10, 15. Now that would be too many because we only had 12 rocks to use up, right? So 15 would be too much. So we know it can't be five yet. So we knew it was gonna be more than two, but less than five. So more than two, but less than five. So we ended up with four rocks per box. Now let's count by fours, ready? Four, eight, 12. Some of you probably made the connection that we could do, um, use this information and figure out three times what makes 12. So three groups, right? Three groups of hmm, rocks makes 12 rocks in all. So three times four makes 12. So you can use multiplication to figure it out. You can use number bonds, like breaking the 12 into a six and a six, and then figuring out that smaller pieces. Um, or you can just use a picture. Whatever you decide is fine, right? You just have to have a way that makes sense to you. Now remember kids, one of the most important important things is to have the picture in your head. So everybody kind of has to start here and maybe you started there and you're like, I've got that and I'm ready to go and I'm ready to just use my division symbols. Get the pictures in your head first though. It's really important. All right, kids, I'll see you next time. Bye.